Hi everybody, welcome to Quilts on Tour. Today I want to show you how to use the backing of your quilt as your binding. It's a quick and easy way to bind your quilts um, and bring forward your pretty backing to the front. Um, I made this quilt for a co-worker of mine. She's having a baby, so it's just this cute little simple um, baby quilt. Just the squares with a stitch in the ditch to bind it. Um, the only thing that you'll need is a cutting mat, a rotary cutter, some clips, and rulers. And I used this um, glue pin to glue down the edges of my quilt because I did a little stitch on the side shift, which you'll see in a few minutes. But I didn't want to use pins, so I just used this applique glue and it worked great. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is trim off our batting, um, but I want to show you how I prepared the quilt to do that. Um, I stitched about an eighth of an inch around the outside of the quilt um, because I like to hand bind my binding. Um, so I wanted to make sure, since it's going to be a baby quilt and hopefully well used, I wanted to make sure that my borders were going to stay in place. Um, if you machine Bind your binding you don't have to do this step but I just wanted to make sure that these were nice and tight um, so the first thing you want to do and since I have that um, seam right there it's easy to do you just peel back your bottom fabric and lay your top and you want to make sure that that's all the way tucked under because you don't want to cut any of that and then you take your long ruler and you line it up with the edge, but I'm just going to go a smidge over just so there's just a little bit of batting in the fold. And then you just cut it up. So the next step is to trim your backing now and I'm going to leave an inch of batting, or backing, trim that off. And you'll do that all the way around the quilt. And the next step is to take your backing material, fold it in half, and then fold it in half again. And you just move up, fold it in half so it's even with your um, cut there, and fold it and bring it over. So when you come to a corner, you fold in the other side in half and then over. And then you fold it at a 45 degree angle and fold this one in half and then fold it down. And then you get that perfect miter corner line there. And then you clip it to hold it down. And then you just keep going around. Folding it in half and then folding it over. And you can use as many clippies or pins or whatever you have to hold it down. And then you can either machine sew it down or you can hand stitch it, which is how I like to do my binding. And that's how I will finish it off. I'll finish wrapping it all up and then hand sew it down. And that's how you bring the, your backing fabric forward for binding. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit the thumbs up button.